please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how the star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise. But he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. And waited and after dinner he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So, very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. Then he waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. The Way Back Home by Oliver Jeffers Once there was a boy and one day, as he was putting his things back in the cupboard, he found an aeroplane. He didn't remember leaving it in there, but he thought he would take it out for a go right away. The plane lifted off the ground and up into the sky, higher and higher and higher. Suddenly, the plane fluttered. It had run out of petrol. Now the boy was stuck on the moon. What was he to do? He was all alone and afraid and soon his torch began to go out. Up in space, someone else was in trouble too. 
his engine had broken down and steering the ship towards a flicker of light he landed on the moon with a bump both the boy and the martian could hear noises in the dark and both feared the worst but as their eyes got used to the dark they both realized they had met someone else in trouble they weren't alone anymore the boy showed the martian his empty petrol tank and the martian showed the boy his broken engine together they thought of ways to fix their machines and how to get them both back home the boy jumped down to earth to get the things they would need right down into the sea and swam towards home but by the time he got there the boy was tired out so he sat in his favorite chair just to catch his breath his favorite program was just starting and he settled down to watch suddenly he remembered what he should be doing and rushed off to the cupboard to get what he needed he ran outside and shouted but there was no reply he couldn't be heard the boy climbed to higher ground called again and waited this time a rope was lowered the boy began to climb and the martian began to pull and soon the boy was back on the moon the boy fixed up the martian's engine with the right spanner and the martian filled the boy's petrol tank they said goodbye and thanked each other for their help they wondered if they would ever meet again after a long night they were both finally off the moon the boy went one way and the martian went another both on their way back home